What's up everybody? Professor Mikhail here and the always awesome Coach Ty. And today we're gonna to be teaching a super awesome technique. That was a lot of awesomes. I said awesome a lot of times. We're gonna be teaching an awesome technique called the Kimura from the bottom of the side mount. I'm a huge fan of this technique because it's another one of those techniques that allow me to feel liberated about not caring so much about somebody moving largely past my guard as long as they don't solidify like you'll see in just a few moments. All right, that being said, let's get started. So in this situation, I am, I, I am in the guard position and so is Coach Ty. Rather, he is inside of my guard where my legs are interacting with him in a situation I can strangle him, I can armbar him, I can triangle him. There's, I have so many options that are available in this position. What I don't want is for him to pass my guard in which my legs are on the other side and he's able to pass and solidify and I can't, I can't get up. So there's two parts of the guard pass that are dangerous for me. There's one, him moving past my legs and the other one is him solidifying. Now. You know what, there are great people who compete out there and train Jiu Jitsu and all that kind of good stuff, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for you. When someone passes one quarter, boom, I make sure that I control this hand from the inside. And once I'm here, I reach around, my arm reaches around behind his tricep, boom, and I grab my own wrist. And if you can notice right here, both palms are facing up. They're both facing the same direction. Now, of course, some people might ask, what if he doesn't let go of your pants? He's going to have to let go of my pants uh, because right now he's shelved on top of his own pelvis. This part of his body is like a plate, right? Kind of like holding him up. And the cool thing about that plate is all I have to do is go with his movement and there is my Kimura. So I set it up underneath and then I reverse his position while still holding on to the Kimura and then just turn it on, just as I normally would if I caught it from my own guard pass. Let's show that again. So again, in this situation, it's really important to manage his arm on this side. When do I manage it, professor? You manage it right from the very beginning. In this situation, I'm trying to control this wrist, boom. And as he's starting to come around, and by the way, for upper belts, I don't just send my arm over and try to catch it right here. This is not the right time to try to catch it. This is the right time for you to try to stop him from leaving your guard. But once he's crossed the plane of like 45 degrees to my leg, that's when it's time for me to transition from trying to keep my guard to mounting an attack from the next position. I call it beating him to step two. Right, so once I'm here and he's starting to pass my guard and time. He's a quarter past my guard. It's too late now, right? Coach Ty, he won in the small battle. Now it's time for me to move on to win the war. As he continues around, instead of me coming after him, boom, he comes to me. And it's very easy for me to continue to turn because he was resting on top of his own arm. Now that I'm here, it's easy for me to step over I have to make sure this knee is underneath as best I can, underneath his arm. And I raise his shoulder up. This is a shoulder lock. Tam, tam, tam. Boom. And turn on my Kimura. All right, that being said, this is an awesome Kimura from the bottom of side mount. This technique will catch your other competitors, training partners, and anybody else who gets in side mount unawares. You're going to love it. Keep training, keep growing. Oh,